I'm Marcel Vogel, I'm German, I'm obviously, that's why we're here today, I love music. Um, that's about it, I love, who am I? I was thinking about my favorite things the other day and my favorite thing is actually to love with my friends and I think that's who I am laughing and talking bullshit and in between playing some disco jams. Um, I came to Amsterdam to study audio engineering but also because it's um, the city itself has such an amazing reputation. Um, you have a couple of DJs who are really holding up the flag and I'm not talking about the DJs who are here, I'm talking about international DJs. You have so many people like Theo Parrish, Moody Man, um, the beautiful swimmers and basically every American DJ when they're in Europe they come to Amsterdam just because they love the city. Um, maybe just because they smoke, I don't know. But you have a really vibrant vibe here and that's what you hear when you're somewhere else. So you're like, oh yeah, Amsterdam is really happening. And when you're here, it's a, it's a really small city but it's really vibrant with a lot of um, inspiration. So I'm here for three and a half years. I started my label here, Lumber Jackson Hell, and my other label, Intimate Friends. And I'm not sure if I could have done it, how I did it anywhere else. And also when I'm traveling and when I'm getting to another city and I'm like, oh yeah, this is comfy, but I don't feel I don't feel the inspiration that I get here. It's really strange place with so many influences and yeah, as you know, somebody like Rahan who spends a lot of time in Europe and always has Amsterdam as his home base and so you have all these people from all over the world that in was their still hungry. meeting. Here. My sound is always playful, always experimenting. Um, I like it when I can get away with breaking things. It's like you go into a groove for a long time and then you really change it up and when the people go with it you know that it's that you're in the right place. And I, I wouldn't feel comfortable with just playing disco for five hours. It's, um, I need my house, I need my hip hop, I need my afro, I need um, stuff that's a bit different and I want to play slow stuff and I want to play hype stuff. So it's, I think it's all about the journey, it's all about playing some stuff that nobody's ever heard before. Yeah. and getting people to actually love it. Huh. Um, even when I was like a kid, when I was like 12 or something, I star bought a lot of hip-hop CDs. So I always had this collector streak that I also sell books. I mean, I, I hated not to own things. And the records, um, I started that when I was like 16. And, uh, you saw my record collection. Yeah. It's like, I'm uh, basically interested in all kinds of music. And yeah, people know me for disco, but. Um, you know, I come from hip hop. I like R&B. I, if you see my Facebook post, it's always yeah. about all kinds of music. I like uh, funk. I like 
50s R&B and uh, jazz. One of the greatest artists I know is Nina Simone, for example. So first of all, this might be my favorite record. I don't know, it's um it's one of the records that always makes me smile. <laughs> 